So welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and in this video we are going to discuss the question you and your books. The problem is actually very easy. So let us read it out. The problem says that we have n stacks of books. We have n stacks of books and each stack of books has some non-zero height ARRI. Now it is important to see non-zero. Okay non-zero is important term now. Equals to the number of books on that stack. We have to consider that all the books are identical and each book has a height of one unit. Okay. Now in one move you can select any number of consecutive stacks of books such that the height of each selected stack is less than equals to k. Now once such a sequence of stack is chosen you can collect any number of books from the chosen sequence of stacks. Now we have to determine the what is the maximum number of books that you can collect this way. So what I will say there is a table right on the table there are stacks of books for example if you take this stack it is three books one two three then two books one two then one two three sorry one two only then one two three after the one book one book one book and at last three books again right this is the stack so this is index number zero one two three four five six seven now it gives us k as one we have our k as one now if i try to identify all the stacks which have a uh, which have a length less than equals to one then that will be uh, this will be one this and this right suppose there is also another stack I'm just taking the edge case suppose there is a stack here also right of one length only then this is index 8 and that is also a valid stack because it has a length less than equals to k right now in one move you can select any one of those but they should be consecutive that is you have you can either select this this uh, this sequence or you can either select this sequence right now if I select this sequence then how many books can I get in total I can get one 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 that is three books from here similarly from here I will get one book I will have to return the maximum among these I will have to return the maximum among these so three is will be my answer three will be my answer right so the problem is actually reduced to this we have to return maximum sum of consecutive array elements such that each element is less than equals to k this is your actual problem statement in a simplified version given an array you have to turn the maximum sum you have to turn the maximum sum and such that the array elements are consecutive and each element has a height less than equals to k okay so for example you have a stack uh, the same i will take 3 2 2 3 1 1 3 right instead of it it is 3 2 2 3 2 2 2 3 1 1 3 right and if your k is equals to 2 now what will you do what will you do so now you can see that this is a valid sequence this is a valid this is 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 valid right the all the tick marks are valid because they are less than equals to 3 so if i take this chunk what will be the height 4 if i take this chunk it will be 6 if i take this chunk it will be 2 maximum among these is 6 so i will be turning 6 right but how will i do it so let me mark the indexes so index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now my approach would be my approach would be to keep an answer as maximum initially my answer is 0 because I have not got any value I will make a current equals to 0 now what will happen I will traverse so for i equals to 0 2 and minus 1 right for i equals to 0 2 and minus 1 now two cases can occur if the array i is less than equals to k is less than equals to k then that means it is a valid one so i will say just do the simple operation of cur plus equals to array of i right that is you have added the current uh, uh, i've added the current element into your cur right for the consecutive sum otherwise else if that is not the case then your cur becomes zero then your cur becomes zero i will tell you why and at last you just do answer equals to max of existing answer and the current right and now return your answer after this loop ends obviously over after this loop ends so I, what is happening actually so i kept an answer equals to zero right and i my current is also initially zero my current is also initially 
0. If I start, I am here right now. I will say this is not a valid one because 3 is actually not less than equals to 2. I will say cur remains 0. I come to 2, I say cur actually becomes uh, 2 because this is actually a valid sequence. So I am taking this consecutive sequence right now only. So cur becomes 2. Moving forward, I will take this also into account and this will become my new chunk and it will become equals to 4. Right? And after that it will be here and I will be able to say that this is actually not a, a valid element. So I will say move your cur to 0 but before moving it answer will al be always be updated to 4. Answer will always be maximum of cur. Right? Moving on again. This is the chunk 2. Then this becomes a chunk 4. Then this becomes a chunk 6. Then after this it will be changed to 6 and it will be changed to 0 again. Moving forward. 1, 2. So it will be 1 first then 2 and after this coming uh, it will be uh, what do we say it will be 7 it will also it will be 1 only because 6 is actually less than 6 is actually greater than 2 so it will remain 2 and at last it will be ending and I have answer as 6 so I will be turning 6 right I don't guess there is a problem because the problem is actually what very easy we are using O of n space time complexity and O of 1 space complexity pretty evident right just one traversal and no extra space to carry, uh, carry any element right Okay, so let us now just code it down and end the video. Alright guys, so here we are. But before starting with the code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible. Alright, so let us start. Long, long answer which is currently equals to 0 and similarly cur is also equals to 0. Just make an entire equals to 0 for traversal. Now while my i is less than equals to n, what will you do? You will say if my element arri is less than equals to k that is it is a valid element so cur plus equals to arri else other if it is not a valid element in that case what will you do you will say cur becomes equals to zero now just answer equals to max of existing answer with cur and now you can say i plus plus for the further traversal at last you can simply return return your answer it should run fine let us try to compile and run it Hope it would work fine. It should not give any error. In the meantime, do consider to subscribe my channel and we will hit the submit button now. And we will continue our streak. Yeah, okay. 162 day streak, guys. Thank you for watching and we will meet again in the new video. But before leaving, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on the social media handles as well. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day.